Morning. Yeah, it's another ride along with Dr. John. And uh, today, super awesome topic, motion. Motion is lotion. We've heard that before. Uh, Going to be a little bit different than you're thinking, though. So just wanted to talk about the two types of fuel. That's right. There's two that your brain uses um, to function. So the first is obviously either glucose or ketones, and that's the nutrition part of it. But there's another thing that your brain uses as a fuel source, and that's motion. And uh, this is something that's starting to be researched and starting to come out, uh, that the little, they're called mechanoreceptors. They're, they're inside your muscles. And what they do is they relay information about where our body is in space, proprioception, to the brain. And it's super important that the brain gets this information in order to function and in order to feed back to the body what the body's supposed to be doing and gives us the awareness of where we are. So similar to how you can close your eyes and still manage to walk and still manage to know where your limbs are, um, that's exactly what we're talking about when we say proprioception. So let me ask you guys a question. Have you ever done a hard workout or you've just had you know you, you worked outside all day you did yard work or whatever it was you did something physically taxing you get in at the end of the day and you sit down and you're like man I'm tired I'm beat well that makes sense because you've been doing hard work you've been you know physically taxing your body but let me ask you another question for those of you who have office jobs or you're in school all day have you ever come home after being at the office or being at school and done the same thing and said, oh man, I'm beat, I'm tired. And you just sat down and you just don't want to do anything. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Why are those two the same thing? You know, you shouldn't be exhausted after you've been sitting all day. That doesn't make much sense. So one of the things that we've started to think about is the brain, again, using two sources of fuel is not getting the, the stimulation, not getting the, uh, the energy it needs when you stand and when you move and when you jump around, when you do things. So it's exhausting itself because it's, it's, it's not doing anything. So it's super important that we start moving more. And I understand if, if we're working in an office setting, there's very limited things that we can do, you know, but we can walk at lunch. We can, you know, stand up every hour, go get you know, some water from the water cooler. Or I mean, even we can, we can, if we're in a cubicle or an office setting, we can sit and do some squats real quick, you know, every so often. Uh, just to keep giving our brain that nutrient, the nutrient dense information that it requires. So yeah, these mechanoreceptors are super cool because they tell us where our body is in space and the brain responds, but when they're not properly being activated, um, our brain's actually, you know, just, just withering. It's just sitting there. It's just, you know, feed me, feed me. Um, so we start to experience maladaptive responses. Uh, our, our brains start to, and this happens too when you have spinal misalignments, and we'll talk about that and how that relates on a different video. But yeah, so our, our brain's not getting the proper signal. So if we think of it like a cell phone, um, cell phone and Wi-Fi or cell phone and your cell service, if you're in an area where it's really shady and you don't get that proper cell service, you're going to get bad reception. You know, you're not going to be able to make that phone call, complete that text, surf the internet, whatever you're doing. Wow, I just said surf the internet. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so it's important that we continue to move, to be active and to, to exercise regularly. You know, it doesn't have to be an hour and a half at the gym every single day. You know, just a little bit of activity here and there, again, just to stimulate the brain, just to keep the brain up and, and functioning at, a, at a, an optimal level. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I go to the gym every day. It, it's just to get up, to move. It's For me, it's a good way to start my day because... It gives me that energy. You know, you, you hear all the time about endorphins when you exercise. And I haven't done the research myself, but how much of that is the muscles breaking down and your body recovering? And how much of that is the brain going, hey, we're moving, we're doing stuff. This is awesome. I'm excited. You know, so just a little something to think about this morning. How often do you move? Are you in a, a very physical work environment where you're moving all the time? Are you in a very sedentary work environment? You know, we're starting to do a lot more research that sedentary lifestyles are what's slowly killing us. And what can we do to make it better, to make it so that that's not the case? I posted something, I think it was about a week ago or so. The Huffington posted this future uh, office worker and it's just terrifying uh, she's got this really big hunchback where we talked about head posture and that whole 
head trick that was cool. Um, you know, she's hunched over. She looks like Quasimodo, and and she's got bloodshot eyes and, and poor circulation, and, and it, it's it's absolutely nuts. And I don't want that for you guys. I don't want that for our future. I don't want that to be you know the normal. Uh, so yeah, so we got to make sure we're continuously moving. And so real quick, just to finish this one off kids you know we, we we talk all the time you know adhd is crazy in the news um you know all these kids are hyperactive they're rebellious they're not uh you know and you can say not my kid and i'm good i hope you're parenting well uh but i have talked to teachers and teachers say like kids are slowly becoming you know a little bit more rebellious and they're taking away recess <laughs> they're taking away the outlet that these kids have to get rid of you know the energy from their nutrients and to also feed their brains with that motion they're telling these kids that they need to sit for eight hours a day and it's mind-boggling and, and believe me it's it's beyond me to to try to determine what the best education is but i can tell you one thing is absolutely for certain kids need to move kids need to be up and, and bouncing around I know my son is 10 months old, and if he's not moving, if we try to just hold him there all day, he is miserable, he's cranky, he's cr screaming, he's crying. So he knows that he should be up, moving around, exploring, doing things. So yeah, it's super important for kids too. They have tons of energy from their nutrients and from their natural energy sources. But again, the brain needs that second type of energy, uh, uh, fuel, sorry. Uh, so yeah, we need to make sure that our kids are moving too. So sports are awesome for kids for a number of reasons. And again, that's another cool video that I've been thinking about. I really start to think a lot while I'm sitting in the car in my driveway. It's really kind of funny. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble and I won't do that. So yeah, motion is lotion, but not for the reason you guys think. Motion is lotion because our brain feeds off of that. Our brain feeds off of the motion in order to understand where our body is in space to better understand how our body is moving, if it's moving well or if it's moving poorly. Because if it's moving poorly, the brain needs to know that too. Because then it'll start to send signals to us letting us know, hey, something's not right here. We got to fix something. So yeah, get up, keep moving. That's my recommendation for you guys. If you're in a sedentary setting, don't let that picture of the future become, you know, you or your future generation. You know, get a wear a fitness tracker these things are not expensive anymore and they remind you every hour just to stand up and even that it's good stand up just make sure you're moving uh so yeah comment down below like share this video to all your friends who are in office settings who need to know that hey it's it's there's science saying we need to get up and move it's not just oh it's healthy to exercise no there, there, there's real science about the brain and its connection to motion so Comment down below what you guys do if you're in a sedentary work environment, how you get up, how you're active. Do you go to the gym? Do you do yoga? Do you stretch every morning? What do you kind of do? Are you in a walking club? I see a lot of walking clubs around here, which is really awesome. They walk around their, their office campus, which is super awesome. So love you guys. Come to Life Chiropractic. Experience life. Don't just live it.